Hello Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the 26th to the 2nd of October. I was doing bi-weeklies, but this time it's going to be weekly readings because I had a few comments um, of you guys saying that you wanted some weeklies. So I feel like it's better actually. So there we go. I'm here. Let's see what's going on for you Capricorn for the week ahead. I uh, just to let you guys know, personal readings are on a sale right now. So check that out uh, down below. It'll be in the link. It'll be a link in the description, and it will also be in the comment section as well for you. Um, let's see what's going on for you guys, okay? For Capricorn, please. Okay, interesting. Okay. Capricorn, we do seem to have a continuous theme of not feeling good enough. This is going to be changing. I actually feel like you might be getting some news that might offset your balance. I don't know why they wanted to say the word offset. Really, they really wanted to say that, but I do see something is moving forward though. Uh, nevertheless, I feel like some of you might get some difficult news. This week, you might have had that already. Uh, but I actually see some good news coming despite that. So you kind of have a bit of a balance already coming up within this week. But guaranteed success is coming in. And you may be called to take some sort of vacation. Even if it's just taking some time out for yourself. Or actually traveling. Uh, or again, physical vacation or a mental vacation. Could be detoxing from social media and stuff like this. Um, I just want to mention to you, regardless of what I'm about to say. That you do have the star here, which is guaranteed success. You also have a ring here. So... Again, some sort of marriage or, you know, coming together will take place, either romantic or business. So this could be looking really good for contracts and also really good for your love life. Some of you may discover you're pregnant around this time. If that is the case, you may not feel good enough or you may not feel ready enough um, for this. However, I do believe that this is something that um, we have the daughter spirit. And I really want to kind of say that this is kind of something that spirit may have gifted to you, but it's up to you how you want to deal with that um, information. If you don't want babies, make sure you're being protected, uh, Capricorn, um, because I do see that coming up. But this could, again, be a business opportunity. Uh, if it's not in terms of your relationships and stuff like that, it definitely is like a birth of a new opportunity in your life. And this is something that will be very successful for you, um, regardless of what it is now. With all that being said, I love that these positive cards have come through. We also have some very positive cards coming in in the beginning of your reading with the world. So this is about really looking at um, your future and really um, expanding your life. And we have Daughter Spirit here as well, which is really suggesting that a lot of you are here. Um, maybe your purpose is to really be like a speaker, to be known, to be seen, to be a healer, to open people's eyes to spirit, to the divine, to the universe, you know, stuff like this. So this could be a great career for you guys. And if you're feeling called towards doing that, then I definitely see that being very positive for you. The only thing we have to deal with is some sort of whatever this is we have some just a couple of difficult cards we have that orphaned energy so something that needs to change is um after a tower moment this could be again a mental tower moment you know kind of like a breakthrough almost uh a falling apart so that we can put it back together again almost in a better way um the same with um other things in your life if the tower moment is the loss of a job or loss of a relationship or a loss of something again something needed to change something wasn't built on the right foundation something may have seemed amazing but actually underneath it all wasn't as good as what it seemed um i always say that spirit will never take anything from you that's really yours and uh, sometimes they will spirit knows what's underneath the surface we can't always see it with our two eyes if we're woke enough we may be able to see it with our third eye and intuitively know that something may have not been the best and for some of you if you have a good intuition if you had a weird inkling about something that didn't sit right with you then you're starting to discover that that's true um within this week of why you felt that because we also have unfinished symphony which does bring about maybe the past. This does bring about a situation that wasn't dealt with properly is coming back round again. And again, it could be internally. This could be some 
issues that we have within ourselves and some things that need to be resolved within ourselves that was pushed under the rug for a, a rainy day so that we can deal with it another time. Um, this will be resurfacing. This could again be a past relationship, a past situation that wasn't dealt with the best way e on either parts. It could be the person that you were dealing with or the situation that you were dealing with or how you dealt with the situation. Um, it's coming back around again so that we can deal with it properly and really end this cycle now uh, because it has been affecting you. It has been dragging you down. And I, I do believe that this is something that will help you open this door to spirit. Maybe something's been impacting your intuition recently, Capricorn. So this door is opening. I definitely, excuse me, feel like your guides are actually coming into your world at this at this moment um, to help you, especially if you've been needing it. Um, for you guys especially if you've been feeling quite alone if you've been feeling as though you are unsure about what to do i kind of get hermit energy from from these cards which is funny because taurus had that as well and of course it's a virgo thing so maybe the earth signs are really going through something right now like a almost an awakening i, I feel like you're looking at the world differently within this week uh, which means that there is some internal work that's being done here capricorn within you that's helping you to navigate yourself through maybe some worldly issues maybe that's something that's coming up could be you know like you know the economy could be anything to do with your finances or again opportunities that are being impacted by some issues in the world um you may be feeling the need to step up and being called to help the world in, in any way you know it could be anything from animals to the environment to the people or anything in between um so definitely is a higher calling coming from uh, for you guys I do feel your ancestors and your spirit guides are heavily around you, so you may see some more activity from the paranormal, shall we say. Um, but yes, there is a cycle that needs to be closed out coming through for you guys, and you will be receiving some information and a message here that will help you make certain decisions to move forward, okay? All right, let's see what's going on here, for, please, for Capricorn. Yeah, you do seem to have an apology coming through from someone who was very in and out of your life here um, with the Knight of Wands. Could be a Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. Um, this is someone who seeks thrill in life. This is someone who likes to keep active. This is someone who kind of bounces around without, maybe there wasn't an apology from this person in the past, but there is definitely an apology coming through. This difficult thing is with the Page of Cups is it's just the Page of Cups, you know, it's someone who doesn't really manage their emotions very well. And as much as I see them coming through here for some of you, it could be a friend, doesn't have to be a love interest or even a family member, whoever this is, the Page of Cups uh, coming through is someone who doesn't really deal with their emotions very well. And of course, they always say the fish in this cup here means that there could potentially be a, this could be a surprise. Well, there could be a catch here um, with this person's apology. Now, we have the hanged man on the bottom of the deck, which feels like your energy. Absolutely, this is what I was feeling. This seems like your energy here. You're seeing this person differently this time around. I feel like this is multiple times. This time around, um, you kind of are holding yourself back from maybe helping this person or from um, giving in to this person. In fact, you're coming across very cold with this King of Swords. It's not to say you don't have emotions for them because I do believe that you do. Uh, you care about this person and I think that's why you tried to help them or whatever it is. But Five of Swords is... is likely because you'll be walking away from this situation and uh, leaving it behind because it's not making you feel very good about yourself maybe because it's keeping you in a stuck position maybe because it's made you feel quite trapped in your life um but this is a smart decision on your side to make yeah because you've been holding up everything this person's able to kind of bounce around and move around and do things whereas you've been holding on to everything uh, that this person's been leaving behind and the problems that maybe they've caused in your life so in order to release this heavy energy that's made you feel you know this orphaned energy neglected feeling abandoned feeling um not good enough maybe feeling like a failure this orphan card is not a very nice feeling it's feeling as though something could have been really great and you maybe really tried to make something work and really tried to push forward but again there's almost a very different 
energy on how you experience this dynamic with this person and how they experience it with you with you i feel like they find you you know they like they like it they're coming back again for a reason because there's something that you make them feel that is liberating however it cannot be the same with how you feel towards them whoever this person is they're very draining um you always feel like you're having to clean up after them but whatever their mess is you know could be someone you live with uh, capricorn doesn't have to be but this is about you know there's been a lot that you've been holding in and holding on to because you felt like you could fix it capricorn and you guys are very strong capricorns are very very hard working and this does co uh, come through in your relationships and whatever this is it feels like you tried to push forward you tried to handle it because you knew that you could but it became too much so ten of wands is asking for you to let go of what is not yours and what you don't need anymore um or is not you know what's not serving you because it is overburdening you this is a card of feeling drained this is a card of feeling burnt out this is a card of needing to just let it go um and not trying to push forward in something that's clearly not working okay this is where the unfinished symphony is coming in from let's see what are these blockages please for the week yeah so we have the knight of swords and we also have the judgment which is truth and again taurus did have this so it does look like the earth signs are going through some sort of awakening definitely uh there is some information coming in here um regarding a certain situation that is giving you enough clarity to understand that a cycle needs to end or it's giving you a cycle if it's not if it's not a complete ending the judgment could also be again this could be someone again trying to reconcile with you capricorn definitely can mean that but this is more about seeing the truth of a situation and something is coming in very quickly within this week any information it could be how this person is acting or what they say to you it's giving you enough clarity to understand that this cannot go on anymore you're learning a lesson from it which means if you want this to move forward then again this is about addressing what needs to be addressed um so that you can move forward but if it's just not working out and you've tried that before then we do the two of cups and five of pentacles here so there is care here there is love here on both sides but the five of pentacles is that there is also this um difficult feeling that comes with it it's almost like with the five of pentacles this is feeling left out in a call this is feeling um you know that there's been a bit of a, like a loss or a lack in this dynamic between you and this person um and it does feel like both of you are a little bit hurt so maybe there is some clarity coming through from this person and some closure coming through maybe them coming back is giving you the opportunity to close the cycle out to be honest about how you've been feeling with that five of pentacles and a ten of wands again it is feeling like there's not enough help in something or again that this relationship is almost at a loss here as you can see they're both pretty injured it's cold and they're stuck outside so despite there being love, there is an open conversation about this, but um, you're getting the information that you need to make a decision about this person. And I feel like it's very free will here. But some of you have had enough. Yeah, there is definitely a decision to be made and one that needs to be made properly, which means take your time with this. Queen of Swords is boundaries. Queen of Swords is protecting a heart space. So if you've been giving, 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 and it's starting to hurt you now because you're not getting a lot back, Capricorn, then this is a time where you are placing the boundaries and protecting yourself and being, you know, selfish in, in this in this way because I think you need it. <laughs> Capricorn, you've been carrying a lot of the world on your shoulders and it's time to let that go of what's not yours so that you can address what is yours because I do see that orphaned energy. There is something going on internally that's just not helping you, okay? Anything else for Capricorn, please? We have the chariot moving forward, being balanced. This looks really good. This is about pursuing some dreams and goals of yours. This does feel like a very independent journey. So it could be ending something here with a fire sign. Leo Sag Aries doesn't have to be. Um, this could be in terms of work as well. With the Ten of Swords, definitely is an ending uh, so that you can again move forward and pursue some dreams and goals and to even realize what that is. And for a lot of you, maybe you are putting an end to an old part of yourself. If this is not a person here, then this could very well be um, how you have been dealing with things. Maybe there was a bit of escapism that led you to 
neglect some responsibilities and now it's all piled up here regardless something is ending so that this new beginning can begin uh, with the chariot it does require some movement it does require some determination uh, it does require balance which is good so whenever you let something go then it gives you the freedom to move forward it gives you the freedom um, to push past any obstacles and whatever life can bring so that you can uh, deal with it properly and, and achieve those goals of yours with the chariot because it chases the star so wish fulfillment interesting because we then have the hanged man in reverse and then we have the knight of pentacles so slow movement um don't allow the slowness of things to get in your way of taking action on something uh, you may find out that things might take a little while longer than what you anticipated capricorn to be done uh, but you see things clearly there is an inner knowing now that you have and that's helping you make the right decision about moving forward slow and steady wins the race this is great for any investments especially in terms of your finances you could be saving a lot more choosing not to spend money on certain things that you used to not being frivolous anymore if that knight of wands is you maybe you are withdrawing your energy because this is a person who's now able to come off of this he's no longer upside down um however he's still choosing to keep himself to himself here as you can see still using what you've learned capricorn over the last few weeks to make the right decisions for yourself um, and your future here because that knight of pentacles is working towards that 10 so if you're planning on an investment in the future or just building towards that legacy you could definitely be making more money um but it is almost needing that selfish energy anything else the magician look at this we have the death and a magician which is crazy because this is total transformation uh coming through very scorpio energy coming through gemini and virgo also but what this means is that there is some very heavy changes going on in your life uh, this is best not to resist these changes because it is for your best interest because it's leading you to be very free in what you want and what you're going to speak into existence uh to the universe here because as you know, the magician is capable of manifesting whatever he likes. Um, it's also having all the tools in front of you to make the decision to move forward and to have a new beginning in whatever it is, career, love, um, and new hobbies maybe even as well. But there is a new you coming through, a new optimism coming through, new confidence coming through, which is nice, okay? So whatever you're having to deal with it, it does look good. We have the Ace of Cups here. So there could be some new love coming through for you guys. Definitely some new contracts coming in for you guys as well. Yeah, look at this. So this is despite the odds, you will be successful here as well. So the journey is not easy. It never is easy for a Capricorn. I'm sure you guys can agree. You guys are ruled by Saturn, which is about hardcore lessons. And it can bring, you know, delays and... Slow movement, however, on a positive side, Saturn brings in some incredible blessings after these um, lessons and ones that last a lifetime. So you are learning something. I see you are right on the edge of ending something, learning a lesson from it and pursuing your goals. I think that this has been a very hard lesson for you to learn, actually, because it's almost like you were trying to do the right thing and it ended up being the wrong thing for you, maybe the right thing for somebody else. But you're now prioritizing yourself here. Uh, and this is leading you towards this goal and wish fulfillment and also some healing. So this is good. Uh, let's pull you out some animal spirit cards. Ooh, the panther spirit. We have reclaimed your power. Number 44, which falls are about foundations. And as we've seen, we haven't had the best foundation in life uh, recently, especially in terms of the foundations we have within ourselves, maybe your base chakra is a little bit off feeling unworthy or feeling as though you don't know your place in this world or a, a feeling as though you don't know who you are it feels like it's because you've been trying to fix everyone else's issues and not really addressing your own so in order to address your own it is about reclaiming your power back and panther spirit is very very powerful very very powerful and the fours go to fours go to an eight which is actually um for me in numerology um not only about changes but it's also about free will so whatever you are doing in this world and because you're doing something different like the eight is like an infinity sign it comes back round again so it is a number of karma for me as well okay so when you cho choose to take action and reclaim your power uh, this is when things start to really change for you in a very positive light very positive direction 
okay so capricorn personal readings are linked down below i wish you guys all the best i love you guys and i will see you guys next week okay